Okay, so you, you guys now know that this is a rotate function, um, and it works off of very simple geometric principles. You input the geometry you want to rotate, you need to set up the angle of rotation, and then you need to set the center point of rotation, and this is going to always be in the XY plane. That's what uh, that icon is. It's per, per a certain plane. Um, well, it'll be whatever plane you feed it in the P input, I believe. Yeah, so it um, doesn't have to be in the XY. But um, anyway, the, the, the real trick here, the one that I was expecting you all to get hung up on, is the angle of rotation. So when I plug in this geometry, I grab my curve. I'm going to set one curve here, select that. And then I um, set up a rotation, and I'm going to say I want to rotate from 0 to 360 degrees. And then I can set a center point of rotation. And whether or not you actually set the center point of rotation, you can start to rotate around the world, um, the world center point or world origin. Or you can find the centroid and rotate around that. And that's what I was hoping you would have done. But the angle's wrong. If I switch from 0, which is in its original position, to 1, that should only rotate 1 degree, but it rotated approximately 60 degrees, or exactly 60 degrees. Um, yeah. And that's because what it wants is radians, not degrees. So Grasshopper, being um, a computational modeler, does all the computation for you. You don't have to set up the math. And so you go to the math panel under the, or sorry, math tab under the trig panel, and you can switch back and forth between degrees and radians up here. And that's why I was laughing at yours, because you went from, Xenia, never mind. <laughs> um, I was saying that's why I was laughing at yours, because you went from degrees to radians back to degrees. Yeah, so anyway. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to switch from degrees, which is what we set this up for, 0 to 360 degrees, and you're going to switch it to radians. So I'll plug it in here, plug that in there. And so now as I'm rotating it, it is a smooth 1 degree rotation all the way to 360. Okay, so you guys were very successful in figuring that one out. There were just a few hang-ups along the way, so... Um, yeah, that's rotation. What questions do you have? All right, simple enough, I think.